hello hello everyone i am back with something different y'all so if you guys want to see what wig i'm reviewing today then definitely stay tuned Swipe. all right y'all so i'm back with a wig review from we queen and this is a short curly bob yes i have never reviewed a short curly bob not this short so i'm really excited and as y'all know fall is coming so this is like the end of a end of the summer wig um perfect for the end of the summer you know you can still rock it especially if you're in those hot uh southern states <laughs> you can definitely still rock short hair it is definitely still in the 80s almost 90s every day so yes fall is coming but not as quick for us down south so y'all can still rock this unit this unit is from we queen like i said i've worked with them before and they have extraordinary wigs at really good prices so thank you so much for reaching out to me we queen let's go ahead and open this box so here is the unit i've already taken out and kind of finger combed it because i was so excited so y'all please excuse how it looks but it does come in a net like this here's the unit but i'll show you the rest of the box um let me just say their packaging is always impeccable as well their box is really good quality it's never crushed it's never you know folded or bent or anything like that and their shipping is really fast it does come with a silk bag for storage after you're done wearing the unit very very nice large bag so the wig will definitely fit in here i do appreciate that because we struggle with wig storage you know sometimes i use a shein bag for my wigs and this is much prettier and much better. <laughs> it also has a two pack tan wig cap and, um, you know, um, instructions, recommendations on how to care for the wig and a card here, special gift. So definitely read this over how you can get that. So that is the unboxing. Let's go ahead and get into the details of the wig. So the wig does come with a little bag here and it does have an adjustable strap in a brown tone so you can attach this to the wig if you want it does have the bra strap feature very very useful um because i like my wigs to fit snug especially if they are going to be glueless they do have to fit snug so i'm just going to take the netting off this wig and show you guys the inside so it does come with like a tan colored lace it's not like hd lace or anything it's a typical a uh, brown lace like a light brown lace here is the front of the unit it looks a little semi pre-plucked looks like it's going to need a little bit more but it actually looks really nice it does come with four combs one um behind the lace two on the side near the ears and one in the back it does come with adjustable straps as well and an area to put that elastic band if you want it and guys, she is short. She is short, short. So it does have parting space. I believe that is at least four inches, five inches. And it looks like the hairline might actually be bleached already, which is actually a good feature. Um, it looks like a semi, like a lightly bleached hairline, which is nice, um, realistic hairline. Looks pretty good. I am gonna have to darken this lace. Um, yeah to my skin color so let's go ahead and start the application of this unit i'm really nervous because like i said i've never done anything this short before but um i'm really excited to see how it's going to turn out so let's go all right let's get into the install so i'm just slicking back my edges um just making sure they're going to be out of the way um from any glue that i will apply so make sure all your edges are slicked back and securely under that cap so I'm going to attempt to tint this lace with some lace tint spray, but this spray was absolutely too light for me. So fail there. I'm just gonna go in with some foundation, which is also light. Just ladies, make sure you color match the best you can. But let's go ahead and put the unit on. I am going to have to fix the color of this lace later, but I did want to show you guys how I applied my lace tint. Um, but like I said, next time I would get a darker color. And I did apply it all over the closure and lace in the front of the unit. So let's go ahead and put the wig on my head. The first thing I noticed that it does fit small. So I have a small head, so this one does fit snug. 
So I had to go in and loosen it up. But I'm just running my fingers through the wig. The hair feels really nice. It's a little ashy looking just from the lint, uh, the tint spray, but that's going to go away later. Just showing you guys the parting space of the unit. The parting space is pretty good for it to be a pixie wig. I would say it's about four and a half inches. And the lace tint spray did give the part um, a nice color to looks like to make it look like it's bleached. So here's the back of the unit. Remember to cut that tab in the back, that little area of lace in the back. And let's go ahead and start the application process. So you definitely want to start off with clean, makeup-free and oil-free skin. So definitely clean your skin um, with alcohol before you put any adhesive products just to help it adhere better to your skin. Honestly, I've learned that I do better when I cut the lace prior to applying it. Some ladies leave the lace on while applying the unit and cut it later, but I have found out that does not work for me. <laughs> so I cut the lace first. So I'm using two glue adhesion, uh, wig adhesion, lace adhesion products. That's the Eben Wonder Lace Bond and the Red Can, which is active, which is the strongest, and some adhesive glue that I found on Amazon. I'll make sure to leave the link below in my Amazon store where you can find this glue. It works pretty well, similar to Ghost Bond. Link will be down below for that. So I'm just dotting it on. And spread it out using something besides your finger, something that's not porous, like the end, the middle end of a rat tail comb. So once I let that dry, I do go in with some even Wonder Lace Bond Spray in Active and spray that on just for double the security. Let that dry. Not too much, no, not too long. So I'm going ahead and doing this in my bathroom mirror. And I did want to pluck the unit just a little bit more in the front just to thin it out just a bit more. So if you notice some lace pieces that you need to cut, go ahead and cut it now before you really, really lay down the unit. So I'm adding some more spray because I let it dry too long. You literally have to lay the lace down in the spray while the spray is still wet. So just laying the lace down in that even spray before it dries and it's working pretty good. So the style is so different for me, you guys. <laughs> it's, it's a shocker. So um, what I'm doing is just separating the wig. I'm going to go ahead and lay it down, go a bit further and lay it down a bit more. So I'm kind of separating the hair that I want for my baby hair. And I'm putting some even spray in between that area just to lay down that lace in that area a little bit firmer. So in between that area, right where I put that spray, I'm going to go ahead and lay my, uh, like a hair tie, a silk hair tie, tie that down for about 10 minutes. So while I have my hair tied down, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to style this with a little bit of water and some coconut eco styler gel. I really didn't have any specific direction I wanted to style this unit. Um, I've seen, you know, pictures of women with short pixies on Instagram. So I kind of tried to emulate that, but I just had fun with it. I played around with the different parts. If I wanted no part, um, played around with it and it was really fun. Like I said, during this process, I only used gel and a little bit of water. But definitely use mousse if you want to keep that wet look. Um, you, uh, use mousse and gel. Uh, those are probably your best two products because water would dry it up really fast. Um, so mousse and gel would be the best two products. So 
So I went ahead and removed the scarf and this is what it's looking like. Now I'm kind of rocking with it, <laughs> but I didn't know what to do with the side, but I'm, I'm just playing with it. You can definitely cut it shorter if you want, especially on the sides. But I couldn't stop finger combing this unit, as you can see. It was really, really cute to play, play around with. I can definitely see me cutting my hair this short in the future. So right now, I'm going to thin out my baby hair area. I don't want my baby hairs this thick, but I do want them kind of pronounced in the front of the unit. So I'm just go ahead and cutting it. Don't cut it too short. So I like to use edge control when I'm making my baby hair. I don't like to use mousse. I like to use edge control and it keeps it laid down without lifting my lace like mousse can sometimes lift your lace. So just play around with the baby hair, just style as desired. As you can see, it was a really, really quick and easy install. You just basically lay the lace down and separate your baby hair just like you would any other wig. And that's it you guys literally it's just me playing around in it playing with the different styles i would definitely cut the size of this wig a little bit shorter um just to kind of give it a pronounced style so what i did i did notice this lace was too light for me so i did use a little bit of darker contour on the lace that was too light and it helped match my skin tone to the t so here is the unit front back and sides Y'all stay tuned for my final thoughts. All right, everybody. So I am back with my final thoughts of this unit. So, so cute. So this unit will take just a bit of work. I do think that this unit will need some plucking um, before you actually install the wig, just so it can match up with your hairline a little more. And it will need some lace tint to definitely tint it, tint it to your skin tone. Um, I My lace tint was extremely too light, so I did have to remove that and I just kind of improvised and rubbed a little uh, dark contour on my finger and dabbed it in the areas that it needed to be darker. And that actually worked, but in the future, I'm going to um, get some better uh, lace tint spray that's darker. For some reason, it's like my forehead is darker than the rest of my face, it's really weird. Even when I put foundation on um, here, it looks okay. And then when I get to my forehead, it looks extremely light, like ghostly light. So it just it's just weird that my forehead skin is darker than the rest of my um, body. So I just needed to adjust the wig to be the same skin tone, um, adjust the lace so it can be the same skin tone as my forehead. But um, all in all, this is a bomb wig. The curls are really beautiful. They really, really pop once you moisturize them and wet them. Um, very, very beautiful unit. Um, I'll try to give a 360 here. Um, like I said, you're going to see some lace um, that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone. Not the super best install, but I just wanted to give y'all a gist. Let me adjust the lighting here. A gist of what it would look like. And it's really cute. It's very mature. Uh, this style is very maturing, um, if you know what I mean. And I was never into styles that really gave me that super mature, that older look. But, um, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It is absolutely beautiful. I love when women wear short hairstyles like this. It's just not my thing right now. But this is a very beautiful unit. It just will need a little bit of work from you. Um, but yeah, this is the best I could style it. I'm not used to styling short styles or wearing short styles so i did my best so you guys don't judge me but i didn't even do a defined part um but i do feel like the the kind of 
it should be on this side rather than this side on my actual head so let me know what you guys think rate comment and subscribe the link to this unit will be below and all the specs will be below i didn't want to re-wet the unit i wanted to show you guys um how it looks when it dries up but you can definitely cut this unit shave it down make it a little bit shorter in the back if you don't want that kind of tail look in the back but you can definitely work with it it's a very beautiful wig very affordable so if you guys like it leave me a comment all right <laughs> so hit that subscribe button become a subby become a part of the cutie click and follow me on instagram as well it's cutie pie underscore hair thanks so much for watching you guys bye